How to get to net zero by 2021, the value of the EU's net zero startup ecosystem will have doubled from 2020 to over 100 billion euros. More than 400 gigawatts of wind and solar renewable energy production capacity in the EU in 2022, an increase of over 25% from 2020, and 4.5 million green jobs in the European economy in 2019, up from 3.2 million in 2000. The Net Zero Industry Act, a measure from the Green Deal Industrial Plan, aims to increase the production of clean technology in the EU. The EU needs to increase its manufacturing capacity in order to support the transition to clean energy. For these technologies to work, greenhouse gas emissions must be extremely low, zero, or even negative. The EU has a once-in-a-generation opportunity to lead with dynamism, ambition, and a sense of purpose in the quickly expanding net-zero technology sector. European leadership in the clean technology revolution is a priority, according to EU businesses and people. It entails using a simpler and quicker framework to transform talents into high-quality jobs and innovation into mass production. With easier access to financing, their main clean technology sectors can grow faster. An easily understood regulatory environment, quick access to capital, enhanced skills, and unrestricted trade are all necessary for reliable supply chains. The pillar of this plan is focused on the regulatory environment. This calls for the development of an infrastructure that is more user-friendly, effective, and predictable, as well as the guarantee that customers will be able to take advantage of renewable energy's low cost. Three initiatives have already been started to aid in this work. By attracting investments, this act will improve market conditions and access to clean technology in the EU. By 2030, it is anticipated that the Union's overall strategic manufacturing capability for net zero technology will meet or exceed at least 40% of yearly deployment requirements. As a result, both the EU's 2030 energy and climate goals as well as the transition to a 2050 economy that is climate neutral will move along more quickly. In addition to creating high-quality employment opportunities, it will boost the EU's industrial competitiveness and support its efforts to become energy independent. The Act also simplifies the legal framework for developing these technologies. This will hasten the capacity to store CO2 emissions and enable the European net zero technology sector to be more competitive. Innovations that will significantly speed up the decarbonisation process are covered by the Act. It supports particularly rapid scaling, strategically significant and both commercially and economically viable net zero technologies. These technologies aid in the shift to sustainable energy while promoting the industrial competitiveness of the EU and the resiliency of its energy system. Crucial technologies, technologies for solar thermal and PV energy onshore wind, offshore renewable energy and electrolyzers and fuel cells sustainable biomethane and biogas storage and batteries. Storage of carbon and sequestration heat pumps and geothermal energy are grid technologies. The Act's provisions also support other net zero technologies, such as best in class fuels and small modular reactors, as well as innovative ways to produce energy from nuclear processes with the least amount of fuel cycle waste. Putting in place the 600 billion euros per year conditions required to keep the EU's clean tech sector competitive. The market for net zero is projected to be worth 100 billion euros by 2030, which is three times the price of the main mass-produced net zero technologies. 
ecosystem of the EU's net zero after its value doubles between 2020 and 2021. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia made it even more clear that the EU's energy supply needed to be diversified. Despite the fact that historically some member states have imported more Russian gas than others, any disruptions would have an effect on all member states. Therefore, cooperation between all member states is necessary, as is, if necessary, fuel sharing between neighbours. In order to avoid disproportionate fuel price increases in November 2022, the Commission proposes a novel strategy. The Commission proposed a market correction mechanism, a quick and accurate tool that would automatically act on the gas markets, to protect EU families and businesses from instances of absurdly high gas prices. The new system aims to keep gas supply security while lowering market volatility in European gas markets. The Commission has been making an effort over the past few years to deal with the issue of rising energy prices. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine and its continued use of energy resources as weapons, the situation on the energy market has significantly gotten worse. The continent has been able to find alternative supplies and reduce its demand to make up for the shortfall even though its reliance on Russian energy supplies has significantly decreased, from 45% of gas imports to just 14% in September 2022. The EU has also taken steps to calm the market and assist businesses and citizens by redistributing excess revenue from the energy sector to them. Thanks to the Energy Prices Toolbox, member states have taken a number of actions at the national level to reduce the pricing pressure on consumers and industry. The RE Power EU plan might be altered as a potential first step toward decreasing dependence on Russian fossil fuels. The EU collaborated with international partners to diversify supplies. As a result, New records for pipeline gas deliveries and LNG importation were set. Accord on the export of natural gas to Europe on a trilateral basis between the EU, Egypt, and Israel Memorandum of Understanding on a Strategic Partnership in the Energy Sector with Azerbaijan. U.S. commitment to provide at least 15 billion additional cubic meters of LNG to the EU the first half of 2022 saw an increase in LNG imports from nations other than Russia of 19 billion cubic meters BCM, compared to the same period in 2018. Additionally, imports of non-Russian pipelines increased by 14 BCM from Norway, the United Kingdom and North Africa. In conclusion, Consumer Trading Organization will keep looking for novel ideas.